everybody, McGregor here, and today I am going to show you how to build a ship. Um, I'm going to show you um, some of the hotkeys that you can use, and um, also how to build uh, diagonal ships, and a couple of tips and tricks. But uh, yeah, so right now I am in um, a vanilla game, no mods installed, which is <laughs> rare for me um, at all. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Now, to build your ship, you need to go into the build menu. Uh, the hotkey for build is B. And here we are. So this is where we can build our ship. As you can see, it's not a big area, but it is our area. And this here, you can see the blueprint, is our actual ship. Now, uh, let me go over some of the elements on the screen here. We have, once again, the little build menu. This is the paint, so we can actually paint and design our ship. We got the high decal, so if I want to put it in a circle, boop. And if we want the low ones, I'd put this one. Uh, let's go with. Actually, let's switch this around. So yeah, you won't be able to see that until I do. No, you get the idea. <laughs> So yeah, so it's a layer type system. Actually, you can see an example of that right there. And you got your paint, kind of like your camo, and then your crew color. So, woo, yeah. And then you got your crew tab. This is where you can hire a new crew and all that. And this here, you can toggle the inside or outside of your ship. I normally like to leave it like this because I like to see everybody running around. So let's go back to the build. This one here is once again the blueprint mode or not. If the game was running, see? Uh, if you don't know the game right now is paused, bring this up, it's not paused, so just make sure it's paused there. Uh, this is the mirror mode, so whatever I build on one side of the ship happens on the other. If I turn this off, as you can see, it doesn't happen on the other side. And to undo, there's the undo button here, or control Z, bring it away one at a time. And to redo, you can actually do control Y, or um, control shift Z. I kind of like doing this. Uh, then you got the grab tool where you can grab onto a part, move it around. Undo, undo, undo. Um, and then what we got here, you got your delete. So, and then you got your select tool, which is, I, I like using the select tool. So if I want to delete all this, just click and drag and then delete Click and drag. Delete. Um, the other things, just so you know, let me put on back mirror mode. Um, with this here, what I can do is I can copy or cut. So sometimes if I want to make my ship a little bit wider, actually my ship looks like that. So if I want to make my ship a little bit wider, I can do that and then fill it out all in here. Or if I want to copy something, just copy it and I can paste down there. Um, the other thing, oops, let me just delete that. So if I grab this over here and let's say I just copy it and I'm about to paste it, these buttons here is cancel. I could rotate my selection. I like this one. I can flip. Kind of, um, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it just flips it like uh, this one's horizontally, and this one flips it vertically. So, if you have, if you want to do something like that, then you can. I find this really useful when you start doing diagonal ships. We'll talk, oops, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Over here, you got your corridors. So that's this. This is the path that you guys can walk and here are doors so that's also so they can walk um quick note though fire can travel through doors so 
If you don't have a lot of fire extinguishers and you're afraid of fire, just don't don't go too crazy. I like going crazy uh, with the doors. I tend to build a lot of glass cannons when I uh, when I play, um, but that's because I just like seeing all the shots going and all that. Um, this over here on the right hand side of the screen, this is your flight direction. So if you want to make a diagonal ship, you just say over here is the front, or over here is the front, this is the front, or if you want your ship to fly backwards, there. Um, then here is our crew, so you can see the red bar here, that's our minimum crew, and our green one is recommended. I tend to like going a little bit over, just in case people die, but you don't have to. And then there's the power, which is minimum and maximum. And there's another one, let me just take it out. Boom, which is the FTL, so the efficiency. So the farther away that I fly away, um, the lower that this is, the higher the penalty will be. Um, so it, it really affects like larger ships. Um, let me just see here, if I just, there, as you see it goes down. And if I go back here, you can see that it starts going red, 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 and then, yeah, yeah, so there's that. So let me just delete all this, boop, boop, actually, what, another thing I can do is I can click on this here, I could save my design, load my design, load shape from a PNG, discard my modifications, clear the blueprint, or recenter, so we're just going to discard modifications. So, there we go. Um, let's see, anything else here real quick? When I build something, there you can make it so that makes whatever I do here permanent. And if I, discard that. Build crew's quarters. This slider here is how many troops, or crew members that I am going to hire, or I can just turn that off. So, yeah, so that's basically the GUI in a nutshell. Um, as for uh, hot keys, like I said, I'll put them down in the description. Um, but the, the, some of the ones, like some of the handy ones, is the, the fill one, I think, is the most handy um, hot key, which is you hold down tab. And you actually, if you look at the price, you can see it changing. So right now I'm holding down tab, and if I left click, boom, it fills it. And you know, I like being lazy, so. <laughs> um, so that's the fill. I mean, right clicking is to rotate. You could also do if I hover over here, it's probably say yeah, period or comma. So you could just boop 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 boop. Um, Flipping, it's, uh, it's what is it? Control plus comma and control plus period. So if I do that, if I copy, paste, and boop, 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 boop. yeah. A quick thing that I forgot to mention is the intergalactic critics are actually up in the upper right hand corner of the screen there. So that's how much money you have. Now I'm not going to go really into um, all the weapons and all that thing. And here you have all your armor, your fire extinguishers, always have at least a couple thousand <laughs> fire extinguishers. Fire can Fires can be devastating. Um, but the basics you need to know for a ship is you at least need a control room to control your ship. You need a cruise quarter to uh, man your control room. You need a reactor to power up your control room. And that's all what you really need to uh, have in a ship, although your ship will not be moving whatsoever. And for jumping between different planets, you need an FTL drive which this ship does not have, we'll just place one there, like that, so, there, so we got our control room, so, um, yeah, so let us just 
let me quickly explain what's going on at least with this ship uh, so it can give you an idea of how to kind of build your ship um, these areas here you cannot build in um, this is basically either where the weapons are firing from or where the thrusters are pushing from uh, you can build close to some of them like that so that um, that exhaust does not count in this area but it will delete it actually if I build it right here they can't go there together just, so, just keep that in mind but you can also one thing you can do is you can enclose this and this ship will still work you'll still fly I personally don't like building like this I like having if it's a thruster I like having it exposed but this strategy is still valid you play the way you you want to play um the other thing to note here is you can see the shield let me put that there and yeah you see where the shield is actually um protecting your ship and if you rotate you'll rotate the shield itself um anything else let me just see here um sensors is to increase your little bubble range here your your view um oh and another thing is if you're at least when you're attacking other ships if it has no reactors the ship is destroyed so go for the re if you see an exposed reactor go for it and they will explode when they die same with um ammo factories and missile factories i think they have to have the missiles and ammo in them i'm not 100 percent sure um, but i know definitely the ammo storage and missile storage they will explode if there is well ammunition in them and point defense systems are for missiles i think oh one more thing here the moving sidewalk is used to um kind of well it's the jetsons really so it will actually make them walk faster but keep in mind um going the opposite direction which they can do on it will slow them down quite a bit and actually them walking into each other will slow them down and if they're in a room it'll they'll also slow down so think of it as room slowest corridor next fastest and sidewalk moving sidewalk or moving walk <laughs> in the direction that you're going is super fast and they actually they, they, they book it um yeah i think that's about it um let us just build a little ship together and we will actually build a diagonal ship because that's probably the hardest type of ship to actually make is a diagonal because you can't use really mirror mode with it so we'll just do a little small ship so I'm putting in the control room there I'll put in the reactor and we need some quarters so I'm putting that quarter and then let's see here now I haven't thought of a design I normally just wing it when I play okay so you can see it's flashing because it's not attached. We're going to use. Hmm. So, how do we want to do this? Actually, if we put a wing there, just like that. Okay. So, we are going to need uh, an ammo f factory for that. Okay. Us. Just got to keep an eye out on our money. Okay. Okay, and let me just see how all this does. So let me just copy that, paste it, rotate, and then flip. There. That's good. 
I'm gonna thrust her here. Now, one advantage that uh, a diagonal craft has over um, one of the more straighter crafts is that it's more maneuverable. Uh, the only problem with it is that they are technically slower because you don't have thrusters pointing in the direction the craft goes. You have kind of forces kind of pushing into the craft, so it's not as uh, effective. But, like I said, more maneuverable. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll use the little armor wedge right there, just to keep a little flat bottom. Okay, so we still have some money. Now we need the ammo factory, so... Just to show them off, we'll have this here, and we'll have that there, and the storage there. We'll also have the fire extinguisher in there, one there, just in case there's a fire there. You know, we'll also have some there. We'll then grab the corridor, tab, boom, boom. Now the only thing we're missing right now it's technically the FTL drive, but you don't need it at the start because um, you have some ships you can kill. So, but we are going to need more people. Just looking where can I put this? Yeah, right there would work. Put in another. Okay, let's make it so. I'm gonna speed up time. So, page up. Which is actually, you can just use this here. You don't wanna use hotkeys. So, let us make sure we got one more ammo. Okay, we got all of our ammo. And let's just quickly go. Hopefully, destroy this. I haven't tested this ship. I hope it doesn't die. F to follow. Well, this goes outside of a little bit of uh, the uh, the tutorial I wanted to do, but yeah, we'll just keep going with it. If I click and drag, I can you can see the range of your weapon. We're going to target the weapon. Oh, and click and drag. Sorry, it's the right mouse button. I'm going to target a weapon once the ship selected. Brace map right mouse button and I'm targeting the weapon because that weapon hurts and then shift right click so we'll hit this one first then hit this one next F okay control F you're wondering if it's the enemy you can see our ship there we are not doing too hot because we're missing Come on. There we go. And he's on fire. He has a fire extinguisher. And not anymore. <laughs> and to repair, you can hit R or you can just do this here. Repair. Now we still don't have enough money for the FTL. Let's see. But I could. Yeah. Actually, this is a good thing to show you. Even though that I don't have money, I can still. Um, I can still say, you know what? I want this there and this here. Now I can't build this, but I can still. Hold on to, oops, hit undo, I didn't want to do that. It's the actual blueprint. So when I am ready to buy it, you know, it's ready to go. So yeah, so that's basically it. That's basically the basics of building 
your own ship. But uh, yeah, if you guys, if any of you veterans out there have any more tips and tricks, um, please share them down in the comments. Like I said, this was a very basic um, tutorial on how to build your own ship. If if you look, if you want to build nice ships and good looking ships and effective ships, I suggest. Um, uh, looking at examples either on the forums or or something like that. I'll uh, I'll try to include the the link to the forums down in the in the description of the video, so you guys can see what good ships look like. Cause I am not good at that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.